So if you're watching this video, you are most likely wondering which is the best email marketing tool for online entrepreneurs? Is it MailChimp because it has all the free goodness and the pretty templates or is it ConvertKit with its powerful automation? So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the key features of both MailChimp and ConvertKit in the battle for the best email marketing tool for online entrepreneurs. So I wanted to start off this video by saying that I've personally used MailChimp as well as ConvertKit, GetResponse, Entreport, Infusionsoft, so many other email marketing tools to build my online business, pretty much every tool out there. And so I wanted to touch on MailChimp because it's one of the tools that most everybody starts off with because it's free for your first 2000 subscribers or 12,000 emails. And I started on MailChimp as well. And this is kind of like our whole journey. So I wanted to kind of compare and contrast this for you but the first question you need to be asking yourself is what should you be looking for as an online entrepreneur or creator so if you're a youtuber a blogger a podcaster if you sell online products that are both physical or digital if maybe you're a consultant or you're a coach you're an entrepreneur these are the things that you need to be looking for in an email marketing tool that really will serve your needs. So number one, you want the ability to be able to send plain text emails. Super important. So I don't care what people say in the comment section. I know someone's going to say, but beautiful emails that are templated are so awesome. And sure, they look great. But in reality, the data shows that plain text emails that look like they're being sent from a real human being actually outperform beautifully designed designed templated emails. And so if you look at your inbox these days, most of the product related emails that you're receiving, um, especially if you're a girl like me and you subscribe to a bunch of newsletters for all these different stores, you'll notice that tons of your emails are designed as templates. And so immediately, you know, it's from a brand. And so having an email marketing tool that sends plain text emails, super important. Number two, amazing deliverability. You don't want your emails hitting the spam folder or the updates folder or the promotions folder. You want them getting straight into the inbox of the people that subscribe to your list. So you gotta have a tool that's extremely reliable when it comes to deliverability. Number three, easy tag based segmentation. And I think this is so important. You know, the old school kind of uh, systems only allowed for list based segmentation. And what this means is you can only have people on one list or the other. Um, and then you don't really have the ability of tagging their behaviors or figuring out who's purchased what product. And so having an easy tag, be tag based segmentation system is a must. Of course, you also want a simple interference, right? You don't want to, um, or interface, not interference, interface. Um, you don't want a tool that's super complicated, like maybe Confusionsoft, where you need an actual rep to set it up for you. And there's all these hyper techie, you know, features that are very hard to, to figure out. You want something simple. You also want powerful automation. So you want the ability of saying, hey, I wanna trigger a specific action to happen automatically inside my email marketing tool. For example, anytime someone purchases one of our products, they get tagged automatically through our shopping cart. And then that information is sent over to our email marketing tool, signifying, hey, please remove them from every sales pitch sequence that we've created inside of that specific email marketing you know, system. So they don't get pitches about the same product they already purchased super critical, super important. And the next one is that it integrates with your existing tool stack, right? So if you're using WordPress or you're using, let's say a specific lead generation tool, or you're using a shopping cart, you want your email marketing tool to integrate seamlessly with your tool stack. And finally, you want clear reporting both for broadcast. So if you're sending, you know, solo emails to your entire list, as well as email sequences that you're sending to specific subscribers. So those are the key elements, the key features that you want to be looking at if you are trying to decide what email marketing tool to use, regardless of whether you're thinking about MailChimp or ConvertKit. So, hey, I wanted to interrupt this video just to let you know that in the description box below, I'm going to be sharing a lot of links and resources for extra tips that you're not going to be able to receive in this video because I just can't fit everything in here. So definitely check out the description box below for all those goodies. 
So now let's get into the real meaty comparison, MailChimp versus ConvertKit. So here are the pros of MailChimp. And I love that they have beautifully designed templates and a drag and drop builder. That makes it accessible and usable to a wide variety of audiences. Um, however, I do think, you know, significantly that plain text emails always win. Now it's also super easy to use and that's a beautiful thing from uh, MailChimp. They have a really simple interface and I love them as a company. They're such a strong company, such a cool team. Um, so I love uh, that about them. You also get to use the tool for free for up to 2000 subscribers or 12,000 emails whichever one comes next. So if you're sending a ton of emails, let's say that you hit your 12,000 subscriber mark, that would be about, you know, six emails a month is the, you know, the most you can send. And, you know, from someone who sends a lot of emails through automations, through email sequences, I can tell you, we send about a million emails a year. And so this adds up really quickly. So something to keep in mind, it's not just 2000 subscribers, it's also 12,000 emails a month, you know, whichever comes first. All right, so now let's talk about ConvertKit and kind of like what are some of the pros of that tool? So number one, plain text emails that convert higher. So again, if you have an online business, highly recommend utilizing plain text emails. Number two, it's a very simple interface, just like MailChimp, it's very easy to set up. Um, in fact, it was definitely, you know, described as one of the easiest tools to use. And I'm gonna share a little bit of a quote about that later, but the third thing is tag based segmentation. So I love that ConvertKit gives you tagging, which used to only be available, you know, for tools that were a little bit more advanced, like, you know, active campaign. And in the olden days, when I got started, the only real tool that let you do that was Infusionsoft. And it started at around $5,000, oh, sorry, $500 a month. And then there was about a $2,000 setup. So it was totally, you know, inaccessible for me when I first started and for a lot of entrepreneurs. Now we have so many more options and it's such a great marketplace where there's a lot of competition. You have this tag based segmentation on a lot of other tools and ConvertKit is not the exception. So the next one is tracking purchases. And I love this feature from ConvertKit. They actually released, I believe last year. Um, and it's this ability of integrating your shopping cart directly with ConvertKit. So you can see not just who purchased what, but a direct integration. So you can see their lifetime value, how much money they've sent with your company, et cetera. And you can segment based on who's purchased what product. Really great if you're you know, selling multiple products or you're selling multiple services. And then there's powerful automations. I love, I love the automations in ConvertKit because it has this beautiful visual funnel builder. So you can actually have multiple triggers and conditions set up. If you're a total nerd about, you know, email marketing and automations like I am, you're gonna wanna set up a lot of trigger-based, behavioral-based actions so that your email marketing is as tailored as possible to your individual subscribers interests, their behaviors, and their needs. So I'm really, really into these powerful automations. Not only, you know, do they serve you while you're sleeping, because all these things are happening behind the scenes, right? You can go and segment, you know, someone who's clicked on a specific link or someone who's visited your sales page or someone who's opted in for a specific lead magnet and send them a tailored message automatically, but you can also see it visually. And that's such a big deal. I love it. And then, you know, finally, we talked about the visual builder, but I also wanted to, you know, touch on the fact that there's two segments of this, you know, ConvertKit has the visual funnel builder, which is beautiful and great for automations and sequences, but there's also global automations, which is something that you don't see in a lot of tools. And so this allows you to say, hey, across the board, whenever someone, you know, is added to the specific sequence and they also have this tag, make sure to unsubscribe them from this other sequence or put them on this onboarding sequence or, hey, send them, you know, a 15% off discount. All these things are really powerful and really cool to make your email marketing way more profitable. Now let's talk about 
the cons because there are also cons to both of these tools. So MailChimp number one, you know, has a list based segmentation. So they do have groups as well, but they're a little bit clunky and it's a lot harder to segment your list, meaning to find people and group them right based on their behaviors, their purchases, their interests, what link, what, you know, links they clicked, where they actually visited your website, all those things. So kind of hard to go from one to the other with MailChimp. There's also no defined purchase tracking. And so I'm sure that there's, you know, multiple integrations that can help a little bit with this. Uh, maybe there's some third party Zapier, you know, tools you can use, but internally there is no defined purchase tracking. There's also no visual funnel builder. So while you do have sequences, um, there isn't really a way to bring it all together into automations. And of course, my neighbor just pulled in with his very loud motorcycle. The joys of being a YouTuber. All right, the next one is no clear email sequence or uh, any type of reporting that is hyper specific. So I like being able to tell which of my sequences, you know, are performing the best, which emails inside those sequences are getting the most open rates as well as click through rates, all of that good stuff. I also want to see what sequences, or I would say more importantly, which forms, right? My subscribers are signing into how many subscribers I've gotten that day. And so there is some reporting in MailChimp. It's not just not as detailed as convert kits. And then there are subscribers and multiple lists, which count as duplicates. And this is one thing that is super annoying about MailChimp um, that I don't understand why they haven't changed yet. But basically, I, I literally chatted them about this because I wanted to make sure this was still an issue. Um, and they told me, yes, you know, we still count subscribers who are subscribed to multiple lists as duplicate subscribers. So let's say that you have three different lists for three different, you know, lead magnets or three different segments in your audience. If people are subscribed to more than one of those lists, they actually count as two subscribers. And what happens is your subscriber count quickly adds up and your bill also increases. So even though MailChimp is free and is a little bit more expensive, you gotta watch out for that duplicate subscriber count. Now there is a workaround by using groups. You can group multiple people into different lists. It is clunky though, and it's not as efficient um, as you know if you were using tagging, but it is a workaround if you're using MailChimp. And so let's talk about ConvertKit and its flaws. So number one, there's no fancy templates, um, you know, templated emails. So if you're really wanting to send beautiful emails despite the numbers and you just want to be that person who ignores conversions and you don't care about not making as much money as you could, I get it. Like I understand. You know, you're not going to love ConvertKit. If that's the case, like, don't even think about it because there's ways around it, but it's a little bit of a headache and you're just going to, you're just going to want to use a builder like MailChimp. And then of course, plans start at $29 a month. You can take a trial currently that might change in the future, but there isn't a free plan. And so that's one of the main reasons why everyone starts with MailChimp um, and doesn't really invest into a full blown tool like ConvertKit. So I'm sure you already know what I'm thinking at this point. I think that definitely ConvertKit wins this comparison war by a landslide. And I'm totally biased because I love this tool. I've been using it for three years, but trust me, I've tested so many email marketing tools and you know, at this point in our business, we've sent over 3 million marketing emails in the past three years. So that doesn't count any of the other emails we've sent in the past. And so after testing so many tools, active campaign, Entreport, Infusionsoft, GetResponse, Aweber, MailChimp, so many tools we've migrated over to, I can tell you with total and complete confidence, ConvertKit is designed for online creators, and that's why it's such an amazing tool if you're an online business owner. Now, if you are a local business and you maybe not sell multiple products, you sell a single product, and you don't really care about segmenting your, your list, you just want an easy way to reach everybody on your email list, maybe once or twice a month, there is no like strategy behind it, definitely use MailChimp. Um, and I'm not saying that you can't succeed if you don't use MailChimp. Again, I think they're an amazing company, but ConvertKit is specifically designed for online creators, for bloggers, for YouTubers, 
your fitness coach, if you sell anything online or if you sell it in person, but you're leveraging the internet to grow your business, you need a tool that's very similar, if not ConvertKit. I love it. And I think that it's an amazing program. And this is why. So ConvertKit was described once as the simplicity of MailChimp with the power of Infusionsoft. And I could not agree more. I just need you to understand that the features that ConvertKit includes in their you know, pricing plan are amazing features that were only accessible a few years back inside the big boy tools like Entreport and Infusionsoft. And so here's how to tell if ConvertKit is right for you. Number one, this is kind of why we love it. You know, it's designed specifically for online creators. We've talked about that. A strong focus on powerful fundamentals. And I love this about their company. They do not play around when it comes to fundamental features. And it's why I love them. I've seen so many other tools, active campaign, I'm looking at you, that are amazing at bells and whistles. They have all the fancy features, but they don't have a strong focus on the basics like deliverability, right? Ease of use, segmentation. So I don't have to worry about any of those things. ConvertKit has me covered when it comes to the basics. And really the basics are what generates 80% of our revenue, right? All the awesome bells and whistles and the marketing hacks are really fun and they're really powerful or can be, but they only really account for about 20% of our success. 80% of the time, it's the consistent deliverability. It's the ease of use. It's me being able to pull up, you know, a list of all of the people who have purchased this one product, but not the other, who've joined during a specific period of time and have shown interest by visiting our sales page and send them a dedicated email marketing sequence that pitches them on the next product. So super important, super amazing. All right, let's talk about the next one. No unnecessary bells and whistles. And I love this about ConvertKit. They're constantly coming out with new features, but they're slow and steady because they want to make sure that they have you covered with the fundamentals and that the features that they bring in are rock solid. So I love that they've stripped it down to the things that are absolutely necessary. They not they don't have, you know, fancy things like maybe web tracking, although they do have the ability of tagging and triggering, um, you know, people who join or visit a specific page on your website. If you have a WordPress site, that is an option, but they don't have all these, you know, super fancy, um, bells and whistles, like maybe drip or maybe, you know, infusion soft or Entreport, but they have the basics that you absolutely need and use. So the majority of people don't use half of the features that are in the big boy tools. Cause a, they don't know how B they're too complicated to use C they don't work properly. ConvertKit really brings all of the powerful automations that you would need as a blogger um, or as an online business owner and just crushes it. And I love it. And then there's a competitive price point, you know, recently, depending on how many subscribers you have, you know, at this point in our business, if we move to, let's say, Drift or we move to Active Campaign or Entreport, Infusionsoft, all these tools that are really good, um, but they're a little bit, you know, more advanced. The price point would be ridiculous. So we're really happy with ConvertKit in terms of where we are. And I think it's a very great tool, whether you're just getting started or if you're more advanced, because again, gives you all the things you need and nothing that you don't. All right, here's why you should not switch over to ConvertKit, right? So what are the things that you should be looking for um, that are key indicators that this is not the tool for you? Number one, you're hell bent on sending templated emails, even though, you know, they won't convert as well. Number two, you're not taking your online business seriously, so you'd rather not invest in it. <gasps> Ugh. Guys, listen, if you're just getting started with your business, email marketing, especially online, is the highest profit, like the most profitable strategy you can use. Literally, hands down, there is no one that I know of that you know refutes that. So I highly recommend investing in a tool that is paid. And I'm a proud ConvertKit affiliate, but you don't have to use my link. Like if you think that I'm just telling you this because you know I have some weird agenda, I don't. Less than 5% of our revenue comes from affiliate promotions. We don't do them. It's just not something that we do unless we truly believe in the tool and we use it ourselves. Um, so clear transparency there. If you think that I'm just pushing you on a product, I'm not. Um, go and like sign up via someone else's link or sign up direct, I don't care. Anyway, the point is, 
you got to invest in your business if you want it to grow. Like, why? Why are you still using free tools that are limiting you significantly in the way that you're sending your email marketing? It's not, commu you're not communicating to people um, effectively, right? And you'll see this happen as your business grows where customers are going to start emailing you and say, hey, I've already purchased this product. Why are you still pitching me on it? Like, why am I still receiving promotional emails about it? That's what happens when you don't invest in a tool that is powerful and allows you to create custom messages for custom people. So important. So I can't just harp on that uh, note more. And then you don't sell products or services. Like maybe you are a nonprofit or maybe you are in the tourism. So I spent a lot of time before I ran um, a fully online business in multiple niches in local in the local business space. So from tourism accounts to roofing companies to plastic surgeons um, and doctors, ophthalmologists, pediatricians, like I have done a lot of marketing um, in that space before. And so a lot of times, again, like I mentioned, local businesses don't need to have something like ConvertKit. They're not creating, you know, advanced automations, even though they should, and it would highly benefit them. So if you're not in that game, if you're not selling products or services, you're a nonprofit, maybe you don't need, you know, ConvertKit yet. And then finally, you're not leveraging the internet to grow your business. So if you're fully offline um, and then all you need is a tool that lets you send emails to folks, go with MailChimp, stick to that. You know, it's not necessary to move over into something more powerful like ConvertKit. So finally, I just want to wrap it up and tell you about why we love this tool. I've already mentioned how we've consistently delivered over 3 million emails over the past three years. We don't have any issues with deliver, deliver, ugh, deliverability, I kind of said that there. deliverability um, because ConvertKit is extremely good about making sure their servers are top notch. They're sending your emails through. It really, really helps us create simple but powerful automations that I've already kind of harped and talked about. It gives us the power to segment our list efficiently. We have amazing customer support that we've literally only had to use twice. No joke. I mean, hardly anything, you know, goes wrong in ConvertKit. It's a very solid tool. Whereas with the previous tools I was using um, when we weren't on, you know, different tools, I'm not going to mention names, but very expensive, like hundreds of dollars a month tools. We were on the phone with support all the time because things were just not working right. And then last but not least, beautiful integrations for current tool stack. That's highly important um, and truly why we absolutely love it. Hey, before I forget, here's the question of the day. What email marketing tool are you currently using and why do you love it? I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section below and that way we can just share a little bit of insight with the rest of the community. Thank you so much. So I hope that this gave you a little bit more insight into whether you should be using MailChimp or if you should be using ConvertKit. Of course, we absolutely love ConvertKit as an amazing tool for online businesses. And we have some really cool bonuses in the comments, uh, sorry, in the description box below where you can learn more about ConvertKit. Of course, if you love the tool, you wanna give it a try, definitely sign up via our affiliate link. You'll get 50% off our entire and brand new ConvertKit course, which will guide you through every single aspect of ConvertKit, how to set it up and how to leverage it to grow your online business. I'm really excited about that. If you have any questions about it, definitely let us know in the comment section below. I'd love to kind of guide you through whether you should be using MailChimp or ConvertKit and then possibly migrating over what that would look like. So I'm um, really excited to be sharing that with you. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, please do. We put a ton of time and energy into creating weekly videos like this one, tutorials on marketing and growing your business online. And I want to make sure that you hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new episode. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you on the next one inside of Kim TV. Bye for now.